Southeast Ohio lives in a digital divide due to the lack of widespread broadband access. The problem is well known, but little progress has been made to address it. From 1990 to 2020, we've all been talking about the problems with the digital divide. There's been $100 billion spent to try to solve it. And here we are really with no improvement. Uh, and we've actually gone backwards in some ways. In a lot of areas, the copper is so decrepit that it won't even support reliable telephone services anymore. Weak internet connections stem from companies not willing to invest. But the federal stimulus money changes the equation. If we could have an influx of state money to cover part of the construction cost, would that change the accounting, change the balance sheet to now it looks like this actually could be the return of investment is actually there. Spectrum got in on the action with funding from the Rural Digital Opportunity Fund to serve Southeast Ohio and will be the major player in the area. It just gives us the opportunity to take our services that um, have been very well received in some other areas and get them out to people that traditionally have not had service. Along with providing broadband access, there's more that needs to happen outside of having reliable speeds. Build the best network in America in Athens County. Um, and it could be the highest speeds available anywhere. But if we don't have a community who have the skill set and uh, are positioned to take full advantage of that, it, it will have very little value. Isherwood is currently searching for nonprofits to partner with to help with issues of computer literacy and bridging the digital divide. For Newswatch, I'm Nick Veland.